Raise your hand. It's the ultimate question whispered in gyms and science classrooms, who would win in an arm wrestling match, human or chimpanzee? On one side, the peak of human strength and training. On the other, our closest evolutionary cousin, built for raw power. This is more than a comic book debate, it's a fascinating look at biology, evolution, and what strength really means. Can human training and technique overcome the explosive force hardwired into a chimp's DNA? We'll break down the anatomy, muscle fibers, and biomechanics that set us apart. The stage is set. Let's find out if this is a fair fight, or a foregone conclusion. Before we dive in, remember, this is a purely theoretical investigation. No real human or chimpanzee will ever face off. Our goal is scientific curiosity, not confrontation. We'll break down this hypothetical matchup using research, data, and expert analysis. Think of it as a virtual bout, facts versus fists. We'll compare anatomy, biomechanics, and muscle structure to see what really separates us. Chimps may look similar to us, but their bodies are engineered for explosive power. While we evolved for endurance and dexterity, chimps are built for raw strength and agility. In this contest, it's not just about strength, it's about two species built for entirely different purposes. This is a thought experiment, no real arm wrestling, just science. We're diving into a hypothetical showdown using data and research, not brute force. The risks and ethical concerns are too great for a real contest, so our arena is virtual. Our tools are logic and evidence. We'll break down the science, anatomy, biomechanics, and muscle structure to see if a human could ever beat a chimpanzee at arm wrestling. Arm wrestling is about more than strength. It's technique, leverage, and muscle coordination. So, let's step into this virtual arena and uncover what science says about this ultimate primate showdown. At first glance, a human and a chimpanzee might seem evenly matched. Both can be similar in height and weight, but that's where the similarities end. Chimpanzees have broad shoulders, thick torsos, and long, muscular arms built for power. Beneath the surface, their muscles and bones are denser and stronger, evolved for swinging and pulling. Their arms are longer, giving them a huge leverage advantage. While humans have strong legs, chimps concentrate their muscle in the upper body. So, at the arm wrestling table, the chimpanzee is a specialist, pound for pound a powerhouse. The tail of the tape? This is no contest between equals. To understand this matchup, let's break down the key muscles in arm wrestling. The biceps brachii and brachialis are the main engines, powering elbow flexion and pure strength. Supporting them are the deltoids and pectorals, stabilizing the shoulder and pulling the arm inward for leverage. But the real battle is in the wrist and hand, where forearm flexors and extensors control grip and form. A crushing grip can decide the match before the arms even move. Humans and chimps share this toolkit, but the difference is in muscle composition and control. Chimps are built for explosive power, humans for endurance and precision. This difference will decide the showdown. Chimps are strong, but what makes them so much stronger than humans? The answer is in their muscle fibers. Muscles are made of slow twitch and fast twitch fibers. Humans have a balance of both, giving us endurance for long activities. That's why we can jog for miles or work for hours. Chimps, on the other hand, are packed with fast twitch fibers, built for explosive power. They can unleash massive force instantly but tire quickly. In arm wrestling, this gives chimps a huge advantage, like a drag racer versus a family sedan. Their muscles are primed for explosive strength, making them nearly impossible to beat in a contest of raw power. Chimpanzees have a biomechanical advantage that goes beyond muscle fiber, their lever mechanics. Bones act as levers, joints as fulcrums, and muscles provide force. Where a muscle attaches to bone determines torque. Chimpanzee tendons attach closer to the joint, acting as built-in power multipliers. Like pushing a door near the hinge, it's harder. Chimps push at the optimal spot. In arm wrestling, this means devastating torque with less effort. Their anatomy is optimized for force, not finesse. That's the real secret behind their overwhelming strength. Some think chimp muscles are just more efficient. But the truth is more complex. Humans have refined neurological control recruiting more muscle fibers for fine motor skills. A trained human can activate up to 85% of their muscle fibers, the average person, less. Chimps may lack this fine control, but that's not a weakness. It's a different operating system. Without our brain's safety governors, chimps can tap into raw, unrestrained strength at any moment. It's like a car with no rev limiter, full power, all the time. For chimps, that explosive power is always available. Their strength isn't coaxed out with training, it's always there, ready to be unleashed. In arm wrestling, brute force rules and the chimp wins. 
We've covered the theory, now what does the data say? In the 1920s, John Bauman's experiments suggested chimps were up to five times stronger than humans in pulling motions. That legendary figure shaped our view for decades, but modern research with better methods puts the real number closer to 1.35 to 1.5 times stronger. That's still a massive advantage, imagine facing someone half again as strong as you. The myth of five times stronger may be exaggerated, but the core truth remains, chimps dominate in pulling force. Their advantage is real, measurable, and overwhelming in any upper body contest, and that's more than enough to tip the scales. Arm wrestling isn't just about strength, it all starts with the grip. Chimps have a crushing grip, evolved to support their weight for hours. Their hand structure and forearm muscles give them vice-like power. Add explosive speed thanks to fast twitch fibers and a rapid nervous system. In a match, a chimp would strike before a human could react. Technique is useless. Chimps don't care about rules or sportsmanship, just raw, immediate power. No hesitation, no holding back, just pure dominance. Even the best human arm wrestler wouldn't stand a chance, it's not a contest, it's primate supremacy. Real-world stories show just how powerful chimps are, ripping open steel cages and breaking bars with ease. They tear apart car tires, not out of anger, but as a casual display of their baseline strength. In an arm wrestling match the force a chimp can generate would easily shatter a human arm. Human bones and ligaments simply aren't built to withstand that kind of torque or explosive power. A full-force chimp effort wouldn't just pin you, it could cause catastrophic injury in seconds. Human strength is controlled and precise. Chimp strength is raw, explosive and relentless. When a chimp pulls, every fiber is engaged, making their grip and force unmatched. Science is clear, chimps are stronger, faster, and have a superior grip. Their power is destructive to objects, and would be devastating to a human opponent. In this showdown, the only question is how quickly the human would lose. Against a mature chimpanzee, a human has no chance. Facing an adult chimp is a losing battle, but what about a younger one? Let's find the age where a human might stand a chance. Newborn chimps, like human babies, are weak and dependent, but their grip is surprisingly strong. At this stage, a healthy adult human easily wins at arm wrestling. In the first year, chimps grow stronger but still can't match a fit adult. This is the brief window where human victory is certain. By year two, chimps get more mobile and their strength accelerates their pound-for-pound -pound power grows, and the gap closes fast. For an average human the match gets tough quickly. A fit adult still has the edge, but not for long. As the chimp grows, the contest shifts from easy win to real challenge. The clock is ticking, soon the tables will turn, the window for human dominance is short, and closing fast. As a chimp nears age 3, the balance of power shifts. This is when they transition from playful toddlers to strong juveniles, constantly climbing, swinging, and wrestling, building explosive strength fast. At this stage, only a very strong human might win, and even then, it's a struggle. By age 4, the window for human victory is nearly closed. Juvenile chimps become formidable, with powerful muscles and no sense of restraint. After age 6, a chimp is a powerhouse, no human stands a chance. The window for a human win is incredibly narrow, and it closes fast. What if we brought in the absolute elite, world-class arm wrestlers like Devin Larat or Levan Saganishvili, these athletes have monstrous strength, expert technique, and a deep understanding of leverage. Against a young chimp, their training would help, maybe even letting them beat a three-year-old and hold off a four-year-old for a few seconds. But the chimp's explosive, unpredictable strength is on another level. Experts agree, even the best human would lose to a determined five-year-old chimp. It's like arm wrestling a forklift. Technique can only delay the inevitable. In the end, nature's prodigy always beats the human professional. While imagining a human versus chimp arm wrestling match is fascinating, it's crucial to recognize this should never happen in reality. Chimpanzees are intelligent, sentient beings, not props for entertainment or experiments. Forcing them into such contests would be cruel and unethical. It could also teach chimps to fear or attack humans, risking harm to both. Our curiosity should inspire respect and conservation, not exploitation. The ethical line is clear, this showdown belongs only in our imagination. Beyond ethics, there's a stark reality. A human versus chimp arm wrestling match would be incredibly dangerous for the human. 
A chimp's strength isn't just impressive, it's potentially lethal. The force they can unleash could shatter bones or cause life-altering injuries. This isn't just about losing, it's about risking life and limb. Even a juvenile chimp is unpredictable and strong enough to cause serious harm. There's simply no safe way to conduct this experiment. Ethically and physically, it's just not worth the risk. The verdict? Respect the chimp and the limits of human durability. So, after all our research, here's the bottom line. Can a human arm wrestle a chimp and win? The answer is yes, but only if the chimp is very young. A healthy adult human can beat a chimp from birth up to about two years old, thanks to size and muscle maturity. But by age three, the contest becomes a real struggle. After age four, the door slams shut, no human stands a chance. The window for victory is brief, and it proves just how physically superior chimps are in this arena. This thought experiment, while playful, reveals a deeper truth about our place in nature. Our fascination with chimpanzees comes from our close evolutionary connection. In wondering who would win, we're really exploring what makes us human. We traded raw power for endurance, precision, intellect, and cooperation. We evolved to outthink, not outmuscle our challenges. Losing to a chimp isn't weakness, it's a testament to nature's diversity. Chimps are specialists in strength, we are generalists, masters of adaptation. Our true strength is in building, creating, and asking questions. In the end, strength comes in many forms, and curiosity is humanity's greatest power.